Hello my friends, Liberty Garden, August 8th at the farm, fencing in the back part of the farm. This is the true perimeter, well, almost. The creek over there is the real perimeter, but this other branch that goes into the main creek is right there, so there's no point in fencing across over there. So what I'm doing today is that I have an old fence here that's on the ground, four lines. The lines look fairly decent. Uh, the lines look fairly decent, although there are some patches here and there, like here. You see there's a little patch there, but this wire also is also pretty tough. And uh, one little trick that I use to know if a, if a wire is going to be able to endure a good pull or not is I get the fence pliers and I cut it. If I struggle to cut it, I know it's a good wire. It's just a little rusted on the surface, but it's good. If it just cuts like, if it just breaks really easy, then it's a crappy wire. And, it's not worth pulling it. It'll be more work in the long run. Uh, so what I'm doing here is uh, I'm starting at that little brace over there. And it comes here straight. And I'm using this tree to break a little bit that way. So this little tree has a staple here. It's just a placeholder. And I put a 2 by 4 right there. I'll be putting the other lines right there so that the tree doesn't eat them. And I didn't have a long enough 2 by 4 to put it all the way up there. And uh, I'll be using this, this hackberry to make that little break instead of digging a hole here in the roots and all this stuff, which is a pain in the rear. And then I'm going to take it a, about another 40 yards over there and there's another break. But for now, that's what I'm going to do. I got four lines. I'll probably add another one just to make it five lines. It'll be a 52 inch fence or 54 inch fence tall. There are some little challenges here, such as washouts. So there's a there's a washout here where the water comes in from over there and it just washes out here. So I'll probably put a, a long T post here that's about reaches all the way to the third line just to secure that the first three lines. And I'll leave the other two suspended, and I'll put T-posts on each side to to keep them uh, uh, tight anyway. But uh, in, in there, just to have something, I'll put a T-post uh, for the first three lines. And it'll accumulate trash and stuff like that, so these little washouts are a pain in the rear. But anyway, I, there's nothing really motivating cows to go that way. Look at the mess that's, that's over there. Uh, what else? Here comes the four lines that I'll be pulling. Already pulled the first line just to get a guide. Didn't pull it terribly tight, just a, just a little guide. I had a... This is a little brace that I put up uh, the last two weeks. So 42 inches deep, 42 inches deep. And... Uh, this little post was only about 82 inches long, so not even 8, 7 feet. So I just put a T-post behind it. And uh, this T-post will take, the, take the, the, the strain from the top line. And that will give it the uh, height. That's about it. Uh, it's not, nothing, nothing really fancy. I'm, I'm just going to be taking the fence. It's an old fence. I'm just going to take it in between the trees, through the trees, etc. Oh, I ain't got the, the energy, the time, or anything to, to make it any better than this. But, it, but it'll be tight. It'll be a good tight fence, and it'll be good wire. And that's about it. The cows won't get out. But it won't be like a straight as an arrow. Yeah, I'm going to follow what nature gives me, and I'm going to use what nature gives me. And that's it. So from this point to the highway, I got 700 yards to go. So my work is cut out for me. I'll be lucky if I finish by December, this stretch. So if you like fencing videos, there's going to be plenty more to come because that's all I'm going to be doing from here till then. <laughs> anyway, folks, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I thought I'd give you a small update. Man, it's hot out here. Talk to you later.